happy 2023. I can't believe, I actually can't believe that we are here. I feel like Christmas didn't really happen. I was so unwell over Christmas. I was in bed most of the time. And then everyone around me just started dropping like flies. And we really ended up doing nothing for Christmas. I hardly ate. I can't believe it and I've been lying around way too much so it's the second today and I'm up and I'm getting things done and I feel so much better for it obviously I feel better I'm back to myself the tiny little cough but nothing in comparison to what I've been through um, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and a good new year happy new year everyone hope you're feeling good about the year ahead and positive um, and also not pressurized into doing things and hitting goals at this point. I still feel that this time of year with winter, it's still very much about releasing and hibernating and letting go and resting, um, which I've done a lot of. Oh my goodness, I've been sleeping until like midday some days, which is insane to me, but obviously I needed it. We all need it, sleep is repair, rejuvenation, so we have to bear that in mind. So no rush into springing back. I, however, am springing back because I've been doing nothing for so long. And I have a lot of exciting things coming up very, very soon, which I wanna talk about in today's video. So the first thing I actually wanted to show you some of the gifts I got, I didn't get a lot. Um, I got a few things, but they're incredible. So I really wanted to show you them. And then I am going to try on some bits for a holiday, which is one of my presents. So we are heading off to Thailand Oh my goodness, we're heading off to Thailand in five days and I can't quite believe it. I'm so excited, I can't tell you. I haven't been to Thailand since just before COVID hit. Um, we were in Thailand when COVID hit and then we came back and then we went into lockdown. So that's nearly, I think about three or four years. Bearing in mind, we go to Thailand nearly every year. That's how much we love it. So I'm exceptionally excited this year and I've got some bits uh, that I got in the sale actually that I'm gonna try on with you today and I'm actually gonna start packing. And what else do I wanna show you? This is kinda of gonna be a little vlog before Thailand as well as showing you my Christmas gifts, basically. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna pop you up here. Okay, you can hear Stefania singing away while she's cleaning, doing her favorite thing. Um, so like I mentioned, there's not a lot of gifts, but there's just a few really lovely things I wanna show you guys. As I've mentioned, one of our gifts is Thailand, and I just think they are the best gifts. Trips, experiences, um, things that create memories, not actual physical things, things that you can remember and have fun. I just think it's a better way of spending your money. So that's the first thing. The other thing we got, which is really, really cool, is we got one of these boxes each, as you can see, and it's Fat Fox Mushrooms. And you basically, grow your own mushrooms so I think we have one's a blue oyster. so one's a blue oyster and what's the other one I always say it wrong shiitake shiitake mushroom so we've got one blue oyster and one shiitake and we wanted to open these but it does say I'm alive please start me soon do not open this box until you've scanned the QR code and read the instructions since we leave here in five days I don't think this is a good idea to, to start growing these. But did you scan this QR code? Yeah, 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 but you need to, they told you how to start it, but you need to know they're saying no way. Right, so we don't know whether just to get this started now and get our friends to look after it while we're away, but then we miss the whole process. But then we'd have to wait till the end of January to grow these. So I'm not sure. Any of you guys that have ever grown your own mushrooms, please comment below and let us know because it would be really, really helpful to know. But I'm really excited about this. I think this is such a fabulous gift. I will try and find them and link them below for you. But what, what a clever gift. Love that. So like I said, we've got one of those each. I don't know how that's gonna go, but I'm very excited. I'm Tomorrow excited though. Obviously, I will update you on this and show you how they turn out. Hopefully, um, we we'll get cool loads when of it mushrooms. Grows. Yeah, I bet. Comes out of the box, it's like massive. I bet. I think that's incredible. 
so that's that Exciting. the other thing that we got we actually got these for ourselves um we thought we'd treat ourselves to a fragrance and one we'd been looking at both of us is from Penhaligans. we were at the airport i think we were going to italy and we both um tried to send each and literally fell in love um so the one i got for myself is cairo i love quite oody almost like manly smells um and i feel like this is like a female version of their how fetty so their how fetty i know it's unisex but i find guys sort of wear that more i feel this had a bit more of a feminine scent to it so i picked this up and one thing i will say about this particular fragrance is that it stays on you forever so anytime i've tried this on in the store obviously i've sprayed it all over myself we all do that um and i've gone home i've had a shower i've gone to bed I can still smell it, I can still smell it on my clothes, I can still smell it in my hair, I can smell it the next day, and for me, that is value for money because there's nothing more annoying than a scent disappearing and, and you not smelling it. So, other than, I was already sold at the, at the smell of this, I loved it, from the minute go, I loved it, I knew what I wanted, but then when, when the smell just kept lingering, I was like, this is my next scent. So um, yeah, my first Penhaligans. And actually, over Christmas, um, they were doing a whole like carnival thing on their website where you could play these carnival games. So like, you know, like a ring toss and like hitting the hammer and the bell going off. I can't remember what that, that game is called. Um, but you'd get yourself points, and then you'd win something. So we actually both, myself and Svania, both won ourselves another fragrance just that they were unboxed. So I think Stefania got Vara and I got Opus. Anyway, we're gonna share them both. So we've actually ended up paying for two fragrances and getting four, which is a fabulous deal. So this was another gift. Um, and like I mentioned, Thailand. So we head out next week. So excited. Um, we are there for quite a while. We decided to make quite a trip of it because we haven't been there for so long and although we've been to Italy and Poland they haven't been really holiday holidays there's been a lot of work going on um pardon well Stefania didn't make it to Poland but those trips because of uh my family there etc etc there was a lot of things to do and a lot of work and stuff with the house and blah 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 blah, blah. so I never never really was a full holiday so this is like our first proper holiday since covid where we get away we relax obviously i'm still working on the holiday but it's my kind of work where it's fun and i love it and i enjoy it and it's creative although i still love doing houses up and being in other countries and learning things in other countries but there's an element of stress that comes with it when where when i'm doing content it's just i just love it which is why i do it so yeah so we are super excited and the next week is going to literally be uh, us getting ready for thailand so we're pa us packing what we're doing everything will be into this vlog and then the next vlog will be thailand and when we're in thailand we will also be doing a detox now this is a question i've had throughout my life uh, before i started content creating i did detox and anytime anybody found out that we'd been on a detox, the questions were just full on. Everybody wants to know what a detox is like and you can describe it, but I, th I feel that you really don't know unless you experience it. And the closest I can give you is vlogging us going through it. So it's gonna be very, very interesting. It's a no food detox, so we won't be eating for a week, no food. Um, and then everything that comes with it, and I will vlog the entire journey. So that's midway through our trip. So it won't be in the first, I think, two vlogs. It might be in the third one. Uh, but you guys will hopefully by the end of it understand what a detox looks like. Good luck to us. So that's what's happening in Thailand. Now, I also picked up some bits. I've been picking up some bits over the past month while not being well, I'm just managing, managing to shop away. On my phone I picked up some bits for Thailand I didn't need a lot but I just picked up a few bits I needed 
So I'm going to show you these now um, and do like a bit of a try on with you. So the first thing was actually, so I'm looking for, or I was looking for a short and shirt set, uh, just in general, this wasn't for Thailand, I was looking for this in Italy. It's just a nice sort of day when it's hot, beach cover up, but also you can walk around in, comfortable. So I found this set, I picked it up on Depop, it's actually uh, vitamin A, um, but it's white. And I have a white shirt, I have white shorts, and for this particular set, I didn't really want white. So I'm going to dye this, good luck to me. So I'm actually heading out after this to, um, I'm gonna head into John Lewis because they have the Dylon pods. I've never, I've never used them before, but Dylon have these pods now, and you pop it all in the washing machine with this pod, and um, it dyes it. So I just can't pick between forest green and olive green. I'm leaning towards more olive green because I want that more khaki look and I'm going to get more fabric dye so the pods are bigger because this isn't a lot of fabric because you can get the sachets but I'm going to go for the bigger ones so that there's more colour. So hopefully uh, this will come out nicely and you'll actually see what this looks like by the end of the vlog because uh, I'm doing that today. So I'll take, you I'll take you through that as well. So I have the shirt and short set on and you can just see it's such a lovely set but I am gonna dye it, wish me luck. Um, but I just think it's such a lovely set. So the shorts are super high waist and they've got so much elastic in them, which makes them so uncomfortable. And then there's lots of material in the leg and the bottom. So it makes it very comfortable and there's a good movement in the short, which I really like. And I would wear these on their own. I'd wear both of these pieces on their own. So you're gonna get like a lot of outfits out of a set like this which is why I've been looking for one. Um, and then the shirt is just like a standard oversized shirt, long sleeves that I've like rolled up, um, nice normal collar, just a lovely set. Um, I just don't want it to be white. Like I mentioned, I have um, a shirt in white, I have shorts in white, and I feel this does look a little bit pajamery. Maybe when I have a tan, um, it would look better. It would look better with the tan, but I just want a bit of colour. You can see I've got a bikini top underneath. This is how I would wear it to the beach. Super comfortable. Um, but yeah, I got these both in a size 8. But I didn't get them directly from Vitamin A. I got them on Depop, which is why I have the white. Because Vitamin A actually do this set in like so many colours. So many colours. Um, I just... Just wanted it from Depop and I also was very aware of the um, delivery time that it may not come in time for when I leave and Depop the sellers in the UK and I've bought it pre-loved although this I think was practically brand new and it does it does look grand, brand new it doesn't look worn at all but yeah so this is the shirt and short set and I'll show you what this is going to look like <laughs> at the end of the video when it's green. <laughs> I'm really nervous. I don't want to ruin <laughs> I don't want to ruin this. But I feel like you just have to try things in life, don't you? This is 100% cotton. So, there is no reason for this not working. I think even the stitching is cotton because that would be the worst. Imagine white stitching on green. I think that this will come out lovely. So, that's the first thing. And I don't know if any of you realised over the holidays that a reformation went into a ginormous sale, like one I've never seen before in my life. Firstly, um, it's gone on for weeks and weeks and weeks and usually with reformation they'll do a sale and it's very quick. Like you blink, it's gone. This one is still on and it's been up to 70% off. Get your head around that, 70% off. I have another package coming and I got a top from reformation for like £20. I, I mean, in fact, I wish I got more, but because I was so unwell, I, I just didn't have the energy to look through the website. Um, but I did pick up some bits, um, and I'm still looking for some other bits. Actually, one of the dresses is already packed, so I can't show you that. You'll have to see that in Thailand. But one thing I did pick up that I love is this um, dress, and it's this lilac silk. If you can see, yeah, there's this sort of colour that's a bit better. The dress is called the Costa Dress. And the colour's ultraviolet. It also comes in that beautiful dark green print. If you remember when I went to the Covent Garden store, I tried on the full length version. It's actually the thumbnail of my video. Um, loved that. So they had the short version. 
and I didn't order it. I don't understand. I don't honestly understand where my head was at. Anyway, the issue with this is that this is a UK size 12 and I'm not a UK size 12. Given that this is the silk uh, material, so I would probably need to size up. So I could probably get away with the 10, but I have been checking that website a hundred times a day and that my size hasn't come in, in stock. And I'm still looking and I'm now very aware that my delivery time is just, is just getting shorter and shorter. I've got five days. Um, so I'm thinking about keeping the size 12 and eventually getting it altered. I don't know, but I popped it on for you. You guys can see it on me. Let me know what you think. Stefania thinks that it looks fine and it's quite nice. It's not so tight. Um, but I just feel the 10 would be perfect. Okay. The dress. I'm in love with this dress. Like I wanted a bit of colour to my very neutral wardrobe and I love, I've been looking for something in this sort of lilac for a long time. I also loved the green um, with the floral that I tried on in the long version and yeah, this is a size too big. Savannah says you can't tell and it still looks really lovely. I can feel it. Um, and I just think it would just look perfect in the size down. But if it doesn't come into stock, then I'm probably best altering it. I just know from past experience when I've sized up and altered it, it just hasn't looked the same as the smaller ones. So as you can see, it just needs quite a bit off at the waist. Um, this is a UK, no, this is the uh, US 8, which is a UK 12. So, I mean, it does fit well around my, my bust, but I could get away with a smaller size and it's all very supportive as well when, when, you, when you've got your correct size. Um, so I don't know, I'm gonna hang on to this. I'm gonna keep checking. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's, I, I think I'm gonna have to end up keeping this and um, tailoring it. But let, let me know what you guys think. If you think this looks like it fits me fine, then maybe it's just me and you you guys and Stefania are right. But yeah, this is um, a lovely dress for Thailand. I love things that are like really lightweight, that can be worn casual as well as dressed up a little bit. I feel like Thailand is a lot more sort of like that. It's more chill. Um, so I think this dress, the Costa dress, is definitely one I have to take with me. And I'm sure, like I said, I'll be ordering a few th more things from uh, Reformation, so I'll add them in. Otherwise, you'll see them in Thailand. Even in Thailand, if this sale's still going on, I'm just gonna keep ordering until I'm satisfied with what I've got. Cause I feel like I just didn't take advantage of it. If you guys did, let me know what you got. Cause I'd love to know. The other thing that I've picked up, obviously we're going to a detox. So we need, um, obviously like workout wear. Um, so I picked up a few bits from Lululemon. One of the things I'm actually not gonna take with me, but you'll know, you'll remember um, those of you that have been here a while, that I tried on the Lululemon tennis skirt years ago. And I didn't keep it because there was a fault with that batch and the waistband um, wouldn't sort of retract. Retract? Yeah, retract, go back. <laughs> um, but, but it went into sale. The skirt went into sale and I don't remember how much I got it for. I think it was like 30 pounds and I just couldn't resist. I just thought, you know what? I love this skirt, I want it. And for 30 pounds, I just can't go wrong. And it means I can start playing tennis again. Well, I could play tennis anyway, but really feel that I'm playing the part. Um, so I picked up the Court Rival HR, which is high rise skirt in long. I got it in the longer version because I don't like things too short. Um, and I got it in size zero because I think, I think it's the waistband. I think it needs just a little bit more cinching because like you can see it's sort of slacking. I don't, can you see there? The slack, yeah, there you go. You can see sort of the slacking. So I got it a tiny bit smaller just to not get that gaping. What I will say, and the, the girl said it in the shop, um, so it's quite normal, is that this undershort is quite tight, even if you're slim. So you can't see it. So it's fine. And obviously more tennis means more toning, but the girls even with their strong legs were saying the same, it just pinches. They make this a little bit too tight, but this does have the rubber on. 
uh, so it doesn't move about, which is good. So you've got the undershort, you've also got your pockets for your balls, and it is just a wonderful skirt. As you can see, I've got it on. I've got it on with this top, which I am taking to Thailand. So I picked this up in a black size. A black size, how can something be a black size? I picked this up in the black version first, loved it. So I thought for holiday, I wanted a white one. And in general, I just always wear sort of black and white. So this is the Align um, tank, so flattering. Remember, I'm slightly bigger busted and I can wear this without a sports bra or a bra. I'm obviously not doing anything high intensity, but especially on a thing like a detox retreat where you're, I mean, you're not doing any sport, but you are doing a bit of yoga, you're doing um, sound bowls, and you just want to be really comfortable. Obviously, I want to look nice. So I picked this up. It's very comfortable. What I love about these um, tanks is that they're long. Um, they're like a long crop. You're not showing too much of your stomach, basically. And I think that's very flattering. So the size I have is size six. Um, I tried the four and my and it was just too tight around the bust. Like I was getting that like double boob, which I don't like. So the six, six fits fine, absolutely fine. And you've got um, like a tank in it and you've got removable. Are they removable? They are not removable. Yes, they are removable. You've got removable pads, which I think I normally remove. But yeah, so you can see I've got both of these on together, the skirt and the tank. And I love them. So I have the two Lululemon pieces on. Um, there's a lot of white going on here, which is very risky because I came on, literally. I came on on New Year's Eve. Can you believe that? Um, so I better be quick with this. But this is the uh, the top and the tennis skirt. So I'll show you the tennis skirt first. You can see it's super high-waisted and there's lots of material in the skirt and it just looks like a typical tennis skirt. It's so... I love it. Like, I love this skirt. It's probably the most beautiful tennis skirt I've ever had. Um, and then you've got the shorts underneath. Like I said, these are quite tight. You can see it's pinching me a little bit, but you've got the material that stops the short from moving. And you've also got the pockets for the balls up here as well. I got this in the long version, like I mentioned, I got this in a size zero and it fits me perfectly. Not coming with me to Thailand, but I had to show you guys because I love it. This, however, is coming with me to Thailand. I love the Align tanks. I have this in black, I now have it in white, and I will be looking for another one eventually. But you can see, um, it just looks like a normal top really, but it's a sports top and you're supported. I don't have to wear a bra or a sports bra underneath this, I can just wear this and this is what I want for detox because it's uncomfortable enough and I don't wanna really think about my clothes and how they feel just want to be thinking about how I feel. So with it being hot, I need something like this. So it's got a nice delicate strap, a v-neck, supported, and it's a great length. So my leggings meet it here. So there's just a tiny bit of um, stomach when you move, but not too much, and I really like that. I don't like anything too high when I'm not going into a gym and just doing a workout, because there's a lot of like lounging about, talking to other people, um, talking to therapists, um, going for colonics, things like that. I want to be comfortable. Uh, there's pads in here, they're removable, which I will probably remove because I, I don't like to see them. And there's also a, you can see, like a sports bra sort of inbuilt to it in this sort of color, which is lovely as well. And then it's got a lovely back V-neck, a V-neck back that matches the front. So it's the Align Tank in white. I'll link this all below. Uh, this is coming with me, this is staying here. Um, and I'm so happy with these sale purchases that I got. So that's that. Is there anything else I wanted to show you before I head out? I need to head out, I need to get going. We've got some returns to do, some bits to get, the dye. Uh, Stefania wants to look at a few bits. Stefania needs, needs shorts. I think that's everything. If not, I'll show you later on in the vlog. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get going. It's such a beautiful day in London today. The sun's shining. I can't wait to get outside. I really can't. Yeah, I can't wait to Thailand. Hello, everybody. I think I left you at going to look for dye, to dye my clothes. Well, I'm back with you the day after with the dye. So I went with, um, it was between forest green and olive green. So I ended up going with olive green. And I was gonna get the pods, 
but John Lewis are doing like a reduced to clear. These were £1.50 each. So I picked up a load of these and I did say from the beginning I wanted to hand wash these so I can just leave it for a while and let that dye really soak in rather than just doing the one um, wash in the washing machine. So that's what we're doing now. So the first step is to wash the clothes. So that's in a quick 15 minute wash and then you need to keep the clothes damp. So in about 10 minutes, I'm gonna mix this up with the water and then I'm gonna leave this overnight. We also today, um, I feel like it's been an odd day. Like I woke up late, I was meant to get up at eight. I got up at 10, I don't know what happened. And then I feel like I've just been chasing my tail. I tried to fill some content, it was okay. Like I'm not happy with it. But anyway, it is what it is. I didn't film everything because it got really dark. Now it's raining. I feel like I'm moaning a lot, but it's just one of those really like frustrating days. Um, so I've abandoned that. I'm gonna get on with the things I need to do before we go away. We've literally got one more full day before we go away. Like, what the hell? Um, I'm waiting for a couple of deliveries that will hopefully arrive today and tomorrow. So I'll show you what I've got. And then we'll see the results of this um, set. <laughs> hopefully I don't ruin it. Um, but yeah, it's all fun and games in the house. I don't know what Svanya's doing. I can see you're cutting something. I that little snacky. Yeah, we're also trying to um, eat all the food so we don't throw anything away. We always try not to buy anything and like eat as little as possible before you go in. Because I think one time, do you remember that one time we had loads of food and we were trying to eat it all before we went away. It was horrible, Even horrible. Me was too much. <laughs> I just need to make the sandwiches for the plane though. Yeah. Oh yeah, actually I, I should show you um, what we've packed for... The, the flight so we've got our like food bag here we like Spanya mentioned we will be making like little sandwiches with the seeded bread from Waitrose I can't remember the brand name heart of nature. was heart of nature with like we put um, avocado hummus vegan cheese and then we just have some like bits for the plane so like the trusted puck up clean greens that we'll have on the plane we just have to mix it with water we've got a couple of like Knacked bars, and we've also got some deliciously Ella bars. I actually really love these bars, they're so good. I've got the apple and raisin oat bar, and the cocoa and almond. We've got some plantain chips, we've got some pilly nuts that are activated. Mm, no um, oh, can't forget about raw chocolate. We've got some raw halo chocolate, mm. um, a half eaten bag of pistachios. <laughs> which I'll probably eat before. We also packed a tiny bottle of apple cider vinegar. So this is okay to go through. I think it's, this is 28 mils. So this can go through. And that way throughout the journey, we can mix a little bit of this with water and it will just settle the digestive system and keep it quite calm. I don't know if anyone gets like, not funny t tummy, but when you're traveling, you just feel a little bit all over the place. So yeah, this is a little tip. Long haul, anyway. Long haul, grab yourself a tiny bottle of apple cider vinegar that you can take through and then just mix it with water and sip on it. Um, a bit of lemon as well. Body biotics, we've got our probiotics as well, just to keep the gut calm throughout the trip. I also have some uh, licorice, pure licorice, that I love to like chew on. Don't ask, it's like my thing. It's actually, we got that from Italy, didn't we? We started that in Italy. Some more chocolate, these are chocolate covered cashews from like my favorite chocolate brand, it's Kakawa. It's a Polish brand, quite difficult to get here in, in the UK at the moment. And then a big bag of lentil bites. So that's our travel food bag for the both of us so far. We're probably gonna add to it. We're flying British Airways and Qatar and both, well actually it's four flights in total. Two flights there, two flights out. All of those flights we have optioned for vegan food and to be honest recently well the last time we traveled was four years ago to thailand the food was getting better and better so hopefully fingers crossed it's all fine when we first started traveling to thailand years ago there was no option i remember we did a 20 something hour journey with a banana and an apple that's all they came out with for both it of us like, do you remember like, it was for both of us the apple was like brown and i was like Ooh. we were like oh my goodness we were starving anyway so we're fully prepared we do have some um, food booked for the flights, but if that's not good, we're prepared. We're also gonna add some fruits and bananas and stuff like that. But anyway, let's dye my clothes. <laughs> I feel like I keep trying to delay, delay it. <laughs> so the clothes are washed and we are currently mixing in the Wall Stefania with her glove. 
uh, the dye. So I've actually gone for two packets. So each packet does 250 grams of um, of weight. I weighed the clothes and they came to about 350. So I want quite a strong colour. So I've done two of these packets. Oh, actually, if it's two packets, it should be a thousand ml of water. We're meant to be doubling everything. Oh, so, if it's so, so I'm going to grab another 500 ml of warm water. We're going to mix that up and then we're going to add in some more water, um, 500 grams of salt, and then pop the clothes in. I think the idea at this point is to like get all the gran get rid of all the granules and make it quite smooth. I feel them. It feels nice. I want to put my feet in it. Um, and now we're going to add in some more water. It says six litres, but I'm, I don't, I think that's too much. I'm going to do about three litres and then we're going to pop this all in. This is all damp and clean. Is it all got to be warm water? Yeah. Okay. So I'll go, I'll go do that now. Okay, so we've actually put in four and a half litres. Because you want it to be. we darker. need to submerge it, but I don't, yeah, I don't want too much. And now we've got 500 grams of salt. So it said 250 grams per packet. We've used two packets. So that's, I hope that we've got this right. And then what, just mix it? So we're gonna give this a good mix. And then we're putting this in. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Do you think it's enough water? Well, if it's not, we can just top up. Yeah. Okay, Stefania is saying that this is all ready. And, oh, um, nice. oh my God, I'm so nervous. Let's just submerge the fabric. Have we done it wrong? No, oh, okay. Right. <gasps> I'm so nervous. Oh my god. Right, no, stop. Oh my god. I'm like, oh. hey, look. I hate doing that. <gasps> oh, that looks nice. Does it? Yeah. Look, that's nice. Imagine it was that easy. Yeah, <laughs> done. Okay, pop that in, and then we've got the second part of the shirt. Oh, I think we are going to need some more water. Sure, this is actually giving me like a panic attack. I need to like leave it and walk away and pretend I haven't done anything. Why are you stressing? Because I don't want to ruin it and I want to like it. You're gonna. We didn't realise that <laughs> someone would have to stand here for 15 minutes uh, massaging the clothes into the dye as Fanny has the gloves on. I bet so you didn't realise. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I have a job, a huge job in itself to do so Fanny can join me afterwards when she's done. But we are taking down the Christmas decorations today. I'm so sad. <laughs> I love the Christmas tree. I love it so much and I'm so sad to, um, to have to take it down. But literally I put a poll up on my Instagram the other day and you guys were like, girl, ours is long gone. Like, what are you doing? I couldn't believe it. I think one person said that they hadn't taken them down. So that was one person and me. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna get on with that now and then I'll show you guys. I'll come back to you when I've got the clothes dyed and dried and on. Guys, it's literally the night before um, we leave, it's I think gone midnight, it's been, I've been so busy, but I wanted to quickly show you guys the finished result of the two piece I dyed, and I'm not sure how I feel about it, I love the colour, I think I love the colour, I need to see what it looks like in the daylight, it's obviously night time, the stitching did not dye, so that's really annoying, but my mum's friend um, it's a seamstress and she could swap the stitching for me, um, long run. And the only thing I will say is it doesn't feel as soft as it did before, but then maybe I just need to give it an eye in. But that is the finished result. And yeah, I'm quite happy. I'm just um, painting my nails right now. Um, we're basically ready. Stefania is also painting her nails. Oh my God, did I just smudge my nail? Um, I've my nails I'm literally going to upload this video now, the house is a tip, but we have some time in the morning to sort ourselves out and then we're going to get going. And the next time we're going to see you is in Thailand. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, I can't believe this. Is this actually happening? I'm actually going to finish this week's vlog on this angel, who I'm going to miss incredibly. Taught me. I hate leaving you. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. You be a good boy, yeah? You be a good boy for mummy. Yes, you're always a good boy. We luckily don't have to change his lifestyle. He's got uh, people here in the house that are looking after him while we're away. He's also got another family that love him incredibly on the street. So he is well looked after, no one needs to worry that he's going to be left by my angel.
Thank you.